Hi there! Today we have a new model that we got yesterday. It is an Ideneth Deepkin Voltronos High King of the Deep. He is a fairly new model, he's not brand new, uh, but he came out along with the rest of the Ideneth Deepkin. You can also build him on, as, or rather as, an Edeneth Lord of the Phalanx, or an Achaelian King. I'm not sure if that's three different things, or if it's just this, he's the Lord of the Phalanx. Anyways, so he's a pretty cool little model, I think. We're going to put him together today, show off the sprues, and see what he's all about. I know that the Edeneth Deepkin have had a lot of attention lately, so I figured I should do at least one model of theirs. So I chose this one. So let's get him out of the box, look at what comes inside, give you a close-up of all of the sprues, and then we'll commence with the building. So inside the box you get a 65mm base, it's actually 64 millimeters, I measured it, <laughs> but I think they call it a 65 millimeter base. A full color instruction manual that tells you how to build both of the variants. Ooh, and there's some nice artwork on the back. Let's see if I can get all of that in the shot. It's fairly nice. And you get Three small sprues, well, three medium sprues, I guess, and we'll take a closer look at all of the sprues here. Okay, so we have the instruction booklet. It says on the front for Volturnus, the High King of the Deep, we need to follow steps one to three, and he is who I'm going to be building, by the way. And then for the Achaelian King, we need to do one, and then four to six. So we're going to follow one to three, which I'm assuming is, yep, the building of the body.
Okay, so he is assembled to the point I am happy with. I don't want to assemble him too much because it might start to impede painting. So I've got the body and the legs because I could not build it without the legs. And then the main rider body fits on there. This attaches to one of the tentacly fin legs. The big mantle just slots in right there. I'm going to keep the head separate. And then this gigantic... Uh, do I want to attach that? Yeah, I might attach that just because it's a very... There would be a huge seam if I tried to keep it separate. So I will glue that on, actually. There we go. And then I'll send, I'll give it some sanding. Once everything is dry, give it a priming, and we'll mount everything onto pegs for painting.